subscribe and click the like icon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. <laughs> I'm playing mini golf. I'm trying to hit the ball with this golf club to get the ball into that hole over there. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Come on, ball, go in. Oh, yes! It's in! Woohoo! Let's get the ball, Hero. What? Ah, what's this? You brought my golf ball back. Thanks. What animal is this? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an eastern spotted skunk. It can spray a really smelly liquid at predators to scare them off. But the eastern spotted skunk will warn a predator before spraying. How does it warn a predator? First, the skunk stamps its front paws on the ground. If a predator doesn't leave, the skunk will do a handstand. Then it gets back on all four legs, arches its body, and sprays the smelly liquid. It will take about 10 days before the skunk can spray again. Then we better be careful with the skunk. Yes, we should, Leo. By the way, eastern spotted skunks live in North American prairies and woodlands. Hmm. We should take the skunk there and find it a good home, or it might get too smelly here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Get it back for you, Leo. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> Katie, there's a coyote on your side. <gasps> nice coyote. <laughs> Here you go, Leo. Thanks, Katie. And you too, skunk. Goodbye, skunk. We did it. We found a home for the eastern spotted skunk. Good work, everybody. Yay! <laughs> skunk in our garden. We learned that skunks spray a very smelly liquid when they feel threatened. We also learned that farmers like to have them around because skunks help get rid of pests. So we found the eastern spotted skunk a new home at a small vegetable farm. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi 
Hi, everybody. My name is Leo, and I'm a Junior Ranger. But you can call me Super Ranger Leo for now. And this is my puppy and sidekick, Hero. <coughs> Did you hear that, Hero? It's coming from behind the house. Let's go. It's a raccoon. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. Over here, raccoon. Hi, Katie. Hi, Leo. What a cute raccoon. Can you find out more about it? Yes, I can. Great. I'll come up right away. So what did you find out about the raccoon? Hi, Leo. Well, you already know it's a raccoon, but it's also known as the common raccoon or the northern raccoon. The raccoon originates from North America, but today, common raccoons can also be found in parts of Europe and Japan. They can live anywhere from forests to marshes and even in urban areas. Urban areas? You mean like cities and towns? Yes. In urban areas, raccoons can build homes and resting places in boxes, abandoned vehicles, and chimneys. To find food, raccoons sometimes look through trash bins and may even break into kitchens. That's where I found our raccoon, in our trash bin. Although they can find food in urban areas, raccoons belong in the wild. That is where they can hunt for worms, nuts, and fish to eat. We should bring the raccoon back to its natural habitat, where it can find its own food. Come and join us. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, a young raccoon. It was searching for food in our trash bin. I'm not surprised, Leo. Raccoons have paws with a good sense of touch. These paws can open bins, bags, and containers easily. Raccoons are also one of the few animals that can climb down a tree head first. With quick paws, sharp ears, and good night vision, raccoons are able to catch food easily on both land and water. In many ways, raccoons are even more clever than a fox. That's why raccoons can easily adapt to the life in urban areas, like cities. Of course, living in the wild is still safer for the raccoon because there is no traffic to worry about. For two months, newborn raccoons stay with their mother, high up in the trees. After that, the cubs are allowed to walk around on the ground with their mother. Both mother and cub will live in a home built in a fallen log, tree hollow, or burrow. And a raccoon's home is called a den. So, we can reunite our raccoon with its mother if we can find their den. That's right, Katie. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Hey, look. Maybe it's the family of our raccoon, but they don't look very friendly. Raccoons prefer to live alone, but sometimes male raccoons form a group of up to four. They do this to fight against other raccoons during mating season. They also do not like young raccoons that are not their own. Hey, stop that! Oh, it says here that raccoons do not like bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Hero, what are you doing? Hero, I don't think it smells enough to scare the raccoons away. That's a much better idea, Hero. We did it! They're gone at last! To find the raccoon's home, you have to look for a fallen log near a river or lake. Good luck! Is that a fallen log? Yes, it is. And that's a raccoon family. Well done, Hero. We're coming over now. 
Oh, so cute! It's a big family! We did it! We found the raccoon's home and its family! Great job, everyone! Yay! Hooray! We found a young raccoon in our trash bin. We learned that raccoons can live in the wild and in urban areas, but it's much safer for raccoons to live in the wild. So we went to the forest and found the raccoon's home and family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, I'm going to score. One, two, three. Oops. Oh, almost. Oh, you've got my basketball. Wow, you're really good. Bravo. Hmm, this animal looks like the sea lions I've seen at the zoo performing tricks. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. You were right. The animal you found is a sea lion. And this one is a California sea lion. California sea lions are intelligent, have good memories, and learn fast. That's why they are often taught to perform tricks at zoos. Someone must have taught the sea lion to juggle balls. California sea lions can do a lot more than that. They're so clever that the United States Navy uses them in missions. California sea lions have been taught by the Navy to perform tasks like picking up underwater objects. That's so cool! So, what do they eat? California sea lions mainly eat fish and squid. They come from the west coast of North America and live on rocky or sandy beaches. The sea lion is a wild animal and it needs to live by the ocean. Then let's go there and find the sea lion's home. Come and join us! Let's do that, Leo. See you downstairs! For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Hmm, I don't think we'll be able to get across these rocks It might be easier if we travel over the water <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it Help! Do you hear that, Katie? It sounds like someone in trouble. Help me! I hear it too. Over there, at the rocks. Someone is in the water. We have to help him. I'm on it. I can't get close enough. The waves are too strong. If we're not careful, we might hit the rocks. No, Hero. It's also too dangerous for you. The young sea lion wants to help. That's not a bad idea, because sea lions are great swimmers. Leo, your rope. Good idea, Katie. Here, sea lion. Catch. Go, sea lion. <laughs> now let's pull. We got you, mister. Well done, sea lion. Goodbye. Goodbye. The sea lion must be 
calling out to its mother. We did it! We united the sea lion pup with its mother. Great job, everybody! Yay! California sea lion in our garden. We learned that the California sea lion is very intelligent and can be trained very easily. We also learned a sea lion pup needs to be with its mother. So we took the sea lion pup back home where we reunited it with its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time. Catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi Katie, what did you find out? Hi Leo, the animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe, North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, Reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate. This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn That's strange The hoof prints stop here Where did the reindeer herd go? Oh no! The reindeer has jumped into the water Don't worry, Leo Reindeer can swim very well They often swim during migration I see so the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no, what ah. can we ah. do? I know. Let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes. Oh no, the water is moving too strong here. You got it, hero. Well done. Phew, that was a 
close. You saved its life, ah. hero. <laughs> Look! That reindeer must be the calf's mother. The ah. bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. Ah. We did it! We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a young reindeer in our garden. We learned that reindeer can run very fast and that they migrate to colder regions during the summer. So we followed the reindeer's herd and brought the reindeer back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.